what is it that people don't like about automated car washes? Um, it's the, the brush wash. I mean, if you go and talk to a detailer and you say that, yeah, I've been to brush washes, I use the local car wash up the road, um, what do they think? Naturally enough, it's, I don't know, people have said it before, it's called a scratch and shine. And to be honest, we're here to test that out, see what it looks like. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to polish up one of the panels there on my car. Um, just probably gonna do the front quarter. We're gonna run it through a car wash and see exactly how many scratches um, or marks it makes on the car then as well itself. I don't know what way it's gonna turn out. Uh, it could be, it could be grand, it might be absolutely terrible, but at least it'll give us a good indication of exactly how much damage is caused or inflicted by an automated car wash. If you're liking the content so far, don't be afraid to like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, share where possible. Um, hopefully it'll give you a good insight into exactly what sort of damage a car wash can do. Um, maybe you want to show people there if you're doing a job for somebody and you want to show them exactly what damage it does do, um, please share it onto them. Gonna wash the panel, um, normal wash. We're gonna decon it, you know, um, tar, iron, um, clay. Then we're gonna polish it down so it's defect free, run through the car wash, and hopefully we'll have some surprising results. And um, yeah, stay tuned. I meant to actually also say that because it's it's full of defects as it is already, um, I'm not actually taking much care as regards two bucket washes, um, using the mitts or whatever like that. I, we have some big dirty brushes up here. Where is it? So just gonna use the, one of those brushes just for now. Um, as I said, it is completely full of defects. The brushes are used generally for um, washing down the trucks and stuff like that. There's not much regard given to those. Very hard to see on the black car, but there doesn't seem to be too much iron coming out of the black paint. Anyway, you don't see much on the black paint. Not like the wheels. I mean, obviously a little bit gone onto the wheels, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna spray it all off with water anyway. But just for the purpose of demonstration, decon the car, clay it, um, then polish it out. See how it works. So I suppose by the fallout it's actually doing us the thing. Um, I want to just say that look, this car is, it's a 2008 at the end of the day. It's a, it's a car I'm going to use for testing all sorts of different things, different products and stuff. If there's something that you actually want to see tested, um, I kind of actually don't mind testing different things now obviously within reason. But uh, if there is something that you actually want to see tested, um, I'm happy enough to do it on my car. Um, so let me know in the comments below if there is something that you want to see tested and I'll do my best to do it then in future videos. Okay, so this is where you get to see everything now. The car has been fully deconned. So let's try and 
see if we can show you everything that's here now. A minute, so. It's definitely not the cleanest of paintwork anyway. Really see how bad it is before we even start. Yeah. For the initial stage, I'm going to use this uh, Makita PO six thousand C um, force rotation machine, and we're using the yellow this visor pad as well. So we're going to start um, start with the yellow compound. Work our way down and find what what works best for this. Okay, so it hasn't done too bad. Still marks there. I don't know if you can pick them up on the camera now. The back door, the, the door doesn't help in the background either. Okay, so I think we can do a little bit better. And what I'm changing to now is, I was on yellow scissor pad with the yellow fine cut, or hologram remover from scissor. I'm now moving down to an orange pad, which is medium cut, um, but I'm going to use the yellow uh, as fizzer liquid then as well. I'm not going to bother with down here, I don't think. Just at least if you can see what's happening on the front quarter, I'll do good. It's just still not getting scratches I want out. They're probably a bit deeper though. I'm going to take it out into the sunlight and see what sort of a difference is done there.
So we're on our way to the car wash. Um, now, the front quarter has been done. Um, it's been cut and brought back to uh, somewhere where there's no scratches or not many actually to be seen. So we're gonna go and get the, whatever the deluxe car wash is, you know, the full works wash, wax, dry, whatever it does. And uh, let's inspect it then afterwards and see what sort of result you get, what damage is done. Honestly, can't remember the last time that I've used one of these car washes and I've been doing a bit of research, a bit of looking into videos and stuff, and it actually scares me to think what way this is going to turn out. So it's here in front of me and I see soft care written on top of it. Look, let's see how soft it actually is. There's our package we're going for. That's the deluxe, 12 euros. So starter, uh, whatever it says, rim cleaner, foam spray, wax dry polish application and we're getting an underbody wash so it obviously includes all the, the other stuff that's there. Look, and it's interesting to see at the same time um, what difference is it going to make, um, how many scratches is it going to put on the car, you know, are they going to be polished out or whatever, I, I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm, look, wait and see, we'll see what happens afterwards. Quick disclaimer also for this one, um, this is nothing against the brand of uh, petrol station that I'm at or the staff or anything to do with that. Um, look, everyone's lovely. These car washers are the same everywhere. Um, they all do the exact same thing. I'm just using this particular one because it's handy to me. And um, yeah, let's go. So typical, my battery has just died on my camera. So um, yeah, you'll just have to use the phone for now and a bit of GoPro maybe. Let's go. Oh, what are we going for first? We're going for rims, I think. Oh, can we see down there? Not sure what's going on. I know I hear something. I think that's the underbody. I think. Can't even see. Hang on. See? Ah, getting soaked. Okay, so it's going on to a pre-wash now, but it looks a bit foaming up the car. This, <laughs> it's typical version of snow foam. So, uh, yeah. Let's see, I think it's gonna, gonna really start now. Here they come. Listen for the noise. about the dirt that was on everyone on my car and just to think that that's in everyone else's car as well so my car was absolutely filthy riddled with uh, road grime dirt stones probably twigs branches leaves you name it all of that is getting stuck into those brushes and like I don't know who was here before me but whatever was on their car is and stuck at the brushes and it's hitting my car with it so it's just all these little things you think about it's not a nice feeling I wonder how it's doing on our quarter panel down there now. Two passes, there's the top one coming back down again. Make sure you get that scratched. I think that's it now, is it? I'll get a drier one now. Look at those bad boys. They're like rubber. I don't know if you ever felt them or not. So here's our waxy stuff. Beautiful, look at that. I didn't know I was gonna brush it in again now, that wax. Okay, so third pass over our panel. Oh no. Third pass. This big baby coming down again. That last pass actually felt a bit lighter, so I don't know, is that just for the wax? They just go a little bit easier or something? I don't know. Dry time. I didn't have one of these blowers at home. This would be the job. It's some blower now, fairness. Look, if we open the window, listen. Serious. Now, you 
can see those bad boys now actually, big time. They're like rubber. Rubber foam, I don't know if that's when you want to put it. Okay, so I mean, in fairness, it is so handy just to be able to drive in and get your car washed. It is very handy. I mean, that was five minutes, give or take. Um, like it really doesn't take long at all, but it's just, when you look and you consider the damage that it's doing and you get your 100,000 euro uh, BMW or Mercedes or Audi or whatever you get, and you put it through one of those things, just think about your paintwork and hopefully this will show a bit what it's done or what damage it may have done then. So. So what is the conclusion? Um, this has been, it's been an interesting test. The, by going through the car wash, obviously I was nervous and stuff before going through it. Now, my car was full of swirls, full of scratches, full of um, marks and uh, bits and bobs. But my conclusion is that it's very different. There's a couple of different ways of looking at it. Okay, the, yes, the, the, the pads or the, the, the brushes themselves are soft, they're foam, rubbery type of material. But what I did notice is, and hopefully you'll see from the videos, is that particularly the sides of the car, the, the, the sides of the quarter panel, were more scratched than the bits on the top of the panel. So if you can imagine, obviously the side brush is going along the side of the car, the top brush is, is working on the, the top panel. <clears throat> Naturally enough, the dirt from the road and from the, on the car is generally on the sides of the car. So that seems to be obviously the, the, the brushes are picking up a lot of the dirt on the sides. Whereas the top one that came down on the top of the quarter panel, didn't show a huge amount of signs of scratching as such um, or marks it within the paint um, is an automatic car wash a good idea or not um, my conclusion I suppose or my, my end result is no it's not um, simply for the fact that the brushes don't seem to do possibly a huge amount of damage on their own but it's the dirt that's picked up from the car previous to you is what damages the paintwork I don't know if that's what you feel or what people, other people have heard. Now, you know, you talk about the two, two bucket wash and don't use a sponge and don't do this and don't do that. But that's the results that I got. What do you think yourselves? Is that a proper answer? Um, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Have you gone through a car wash? Is it, do, do you reckon it's the side brushes that cause the most damage? Or is it all the brushes in total? If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it. I mean, I, I just want to gauge what interest people have there. Um, don't be afraid to leave a comment. I enjoy seeing the comments and interacting with you guys on the on YouTube. Um, please subscribe to the channel for more updates and more future content. Uh, something similar to, I suppose, what I'm doing here now, but I'm hopefully going to be getting into the business end of things soon. Um, but if you like what you see, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well so that you get a message every time I release a video then. Hoping to do it every week, but... Um, may actually be doing a lot more uh, frequently than I first expected. So thanks very much for watching, appreciate it, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next video then. Thanks a lot.